He is known for being a composer and court violinist in Bayreuth and Ansbach. He grew up in a musical family and learned to play the lute and violin at a young age. His name is Bernhard Joachim Hagen. In the realm of music history, there are unsung heroes whose contributions deserve recognition. One such figure is Bernhard Joachim Hagen, whose life and work shaped the world of classical music. Born into a family of musicians, Hagen's passion for music was ignited from a young age. His brother, Peter Albrecht Hagen, studied under the renowned violinist Francesco Geminiani and became a skilled organist in Rotterdam. It is believed that Bernhard Joachim Hagen also learned to play the violin and lute early on, as evidenced by his later achievements. In 1737, Hagen's talent caught the attention of Johann Pfeiffer, a celebrated violin virtuoso and Kapellmeister in Bayreuth. Hagen joined Pfeiffer as an assistant and quickly established himself as a remarkable violinist. His skills were further honed during his tenure as a court violinist in Bayreuth, a position he held until his passing. It is speculated that Hagen received additional training in lute playing from renowned musicians Adam Falkenhagen and Charles Durant, who were also associated with the Bayreuth court. In 1745, Hagen embarked on a new chapter of his life when he married Anna Feichenscher. Their union provided a stable foundation for Hagen's musical pursuits. In 1760 and 1761, he seized the opportunity to visit his brother in Rotterdam. During his stay, Hagen showcased his virtuosity in five concerts held between November and March. These performances not only showcased his talent but also brought his unique style to a wider audience. Hashtag paragraph underscore break hashtag. Hagen's most notable contribution to the world of music lies in his transcriptions of Francesco Giminiani's violin works for the lute. These transcriptions, attributed to J.B. Hagen, have survived to this day and serve as a testament to his skill and dedication. By adapting Giminiani's compositions to the lute, Hagen expanded the repertoire available for the instrument, breathing new life into the music of his time. Despite the limited information available about his life, Bernhard Joachim Hagen's impact on the musical landscape cannot be understated. His mastery of the violin and lute, coupled with his collaborations with esteemed musicians of his era, solidified his position as a respected figure in the courts of Bayreuth and Ansbach. Hagen's legacy continues to inspire musicians and music enthusiasts, reminding us of the profound significance of his contributions to the field of music. Hashtag paragraph underscore break hashtag. As we delve into the biography of Bernhard Joachim Hagen, we uncover a remarkable musician whose talent transcended the boundaries of time. His early exposure to music within his family, his training under renowned violinist Johann Pfeiffer, and his collaborations with esteemed musicians like Adam Falkenhagen and Charles Durant shaped his musical journey. Hagen's marriage to Anna Feichenscher provided stability and support for his career, allowing him to further explore his musical pursuits. Through his transcriptions of Giminiani's violin works for the lute, Hagen left an indelible mark on the world of music. These transcriptions not only showcased his technical prowess but also expanded the repertoire for the lute, ensuring the music of Gemini would continue to resonate with audiences. Bernhard Joachim Hagen's contributions to music, though often overshadowed by more prominent figures, should not be forgotten. His dedication and talent continue to inspire musicians and remind us of the richness and diversity of classical music. In the bustling court of Bayreuth, Bernhard Joachim Hagen made a name for himself as a skilled violinist and lutenist. His virtuoso performances on the lute, as well as his compositions for the instrument, were highly regarded and admired. Hagen's contributions to the lute repertoire were significant, placing him among the foremost composers of his time, surpassing even his teachers Falkenhagen and Durant. His musical style was shaped by the Empfin Samkite and the emerging Sturm Und Drang period, with a clear influence from the renowned Carl Philipp Emanuel Bach. Hashtag continue hashtag. Thanks to the efforts of Margravine Wilhelmine, lute music experienced a renaissance in the 18th century, just before it faded into obscurity until its rediscovery in the 20th century. This revival provided Hagen with a platform to showcase his talent and contribute to the rich tradition of lute music. Hashtag continue hashtag. Today, we are fortunate to have access to 33 known compositions by Bernhard Joachim Hagen, preserved in the Stats UND Stat Bibliothek Augsburg. These compositions include solo lute sonatas and chamber works, which have been meticulously curated and published in facsimile editions by Joachim Doming for the Roman Treckel Music Relag. Hashtag continue hashtag. To truly appreciate Hagen's brilliance, one can turn to the exceptional recordings of lutenist Robert Barto. Barto's three outstanding CDs featuring Hagen sonatas showcased the composer's skillful craftsmanship and musical expression. Unfortunately, some of Hagen's works listed in the 1769 Breitkopf catalog are believed to be missing, leaving us to wonder about the full extent of his compositional genius. Do you want to explore more composers? 
Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.